Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, they scored six points. You know, we shouldn't have scored anything. And, but I thought our, our defense did play well. You know, and they bend but didn't break. And that's been kind of our theme throughout the year. And, um, I think it's always good, though, when your defense can hold a team to six points and, and not score a touchdown. You know, and, but our guys know they could have played better. And, football and the beauty of having another opportunity the next week. You have to play yet another quarterback who not only knew with his arm but can scramble and move around. You guys like that challenge that week after week or would you rather face that true pocket passer? Well, I think our guys are well trained for it now, so uh, it really doesn't matter. You know, they've seen it all year long and there's no, there's no excuses for not stopping them now. You know, they, they've seen it and they've been trained and now they're just going out and executing and do their assignment. Last time you guys played on Thursday, you had the bye week. You don't this. You had the bye week beforehand. You don't this week. Uh, how does that alter just game week preparations and all that stuff? Well, we uh, you know, last week we had to stay a little later during the week and try to get ahead because it was a short week. You know, get ahead on middle and um, usually our guys usually the day after they, they practice, uh, we go out and get some corrections from the game before. And, we wasn't able to do that as much. You know, we kind of jumped right into the middle and, and um, used Sunday as a, a Tuesday practice for us. And today will be a Wednesday practice. So all we did was just bump things up for us and get ready to practice as normal. Keith Smith named Defensive Player of the Week again. You think you really earned it with those five sacks? So I think you really earned it. <laughs> I'm not, not if you really earned it, but I mean, five sacks, that's impressive. Very impressive, you know. Um, that, that doesn't happen every day in college football, you know. And it's good for Q to be able to do that. The guy has been working his tail off um, over the last few years, and, and he's starting to reap the benefits of, of working hard. And, and, um, and he practiced well, and, and, and we challenged Q to come out and play better than he did against Monroe, and he did that for our football team. And he was vocal out there talking to the defense. And, Came ready to play. What about the D line in general? They had nine sacks. I think. Do you think they were the, the difference makers in the game? Uh, no doubt. You know, I thought they um, got them out of rhythm, and um, and I thought our, our secondary did a great job. And, and a lot of those were cover sack. You know, they did a great job of covering their receivers, and and our D line has been playing outstanding all year long. You know, and it's great to see because all those guys have been playing since freshman. They've been puppies, and now they're they're full grown dogs right now and barking and, and they're helping our football team big time. Offensively, uh, you know, not the best day. What do you, what would you see in film? Was it more of what FIU was doing? Were you guys just not having your best day? I mean, what was it? Um, we, we didn't play our best game. Um, a lot of one-on-one -on -one matches was, was beaten. Um, they beat us in some one-on-one -on -one matches. And, um, and sometimes a guy make a mistake and it just makes it, mess it up for everything. And, and then we got to get better in fourth down, fourth and one. I mean, for us not to get one yard is unacceptable, you know, and not to get an inch. And, um, I think that took a little bit out of our offense, too, in that ball game. But it's the ultimate team game, and the week before that, we were lights out on offense, and uh, our defense had our back in this game. And um, we're due to have an all-around fantastic game. I mean, it's a great opportunity to do it this week on national TV to get all three <coughs> to play well and we hadn't done that yet and our guys are eager to do that. Yeah, I think the guys relish the fact of being able to do a national TV at home. You guys haven't done that this year. Yeah, it'll be fun. You know, um, again, anytime you can get get on national TV and then to be able to get on that at home is always exciting. We just hope we don't our stands don't look like some of these other people stand when you go to their game. You know, we want to make sure it's packed, you know. We don't want to be embarrassing here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I know coaches don't really get wrapped up in the whole rivalry aspect of, of, of a game like this, but um, you know, you guys were able to win last year, first time since the very first meeting between you two back in um, 07, whenever, 7 when whenever it was. Um, does it enhance the rivalry a little bit? Uh, every game's a rivalry for us. You know, it's another one. Um, last week was a rivalry. This was a rivalry. Next week's going to be a rivalry, too. You know, um, no matter who we're playing. We don't like anybody we play. You know, I'm sure they don't like us either, so.
coming in, we're going to have a great week of practice and come in this game and try to play our best ball game. It doesn't matter who it is we're playing it. Um, like I say, every last one of them will ride before us. Is this one maybe a little bigger? No, no, it's not big. I mean, because each one of these guys, each one of these teams we're playing are standing our way of our goal. You know, so we can't make one team bigger than the next team. You know, um, they all are big. You know, and these guys are going to try to stop us from what we're trying to ultimately do. And um, we got to refuse to let that happen. Last year coming into the middle game, you guys were looking for your first win, basically trying to save your season. How did the stakes of this year's game kind of measure up with that? Uh, well, again, we're not looking for that first win now. You know, we said then we get the first one and the rest will come out pretty easy. And it's kind of how it's been. We're in a different position now. Last year going to that game, we were 0-4, I think, 0-5, whatever it was. Uh, this year is totally different, you know, and I think last, I don't know what their record was going to that game year, but um, both teams are playing well, you know, um, um, both teams have a lot to play for, you know, I think it's going to be an exciting ball game, and uh, both teams are hungry, and both teams want something special, and, and, uh, we'll see who, who won the most.